In this video I'm going to show you how to run PHP using localhost. I'll be installing XAMPP which will also install PHP and then I'll be using XAMPP to show how PHP can be run in localhost. So the first thing I'm going to do is open the web browser. I'm going to use Google Chrome. In Google search I'm going to search for XAMPP. Hit the enter key. It should be the first link so if you click on it and you'll be on the XAMPP website. Click on the XAMPP for Windows button and your download should begin. If your download doesn't automatically start, click the link that says click here. And then you'll be taken to the Source Forge website. Click on the green button that says download latest version and your download will start. After the install has been downloaded, open up the downloads folder. Double click on the installer file that's in your downloads folder. When you get this message, press the OK button because we will be using the default directory to install XAMPP. Okay, in the setup window, press the next button. So you're not going to need all these components, so deselect, Perl, Tomcat, Mercury Mail. Press the next button. Leave the default directory as it is and press the next button. Use the default language or change it and then press the next button. Now you can start the installation by pressing the next button and wait for the install. Okay, after the installation is finished, press the finish button. So you want to start the Apache service, so press the start button. So that service should show that it's running, so once that's done, press the edit button. And what you'll see is that localhost is set up and working in the browser and you're currently on the dashboard page for XAMPP. So minimize the browser, open up Windows Explorer and then go to your C drive. And then open the XAMPP folder. There should be a folder called htdocs inside of XAMPP, so if you click that. Localhost in the browser is actually pointed to the htdocs folder. So anything inside of here is actually going to load up um, your PHP files. So I'm going to create a new folder that will represent a PHP project. So new folder. I'm going to call this test project. So in the htdocs folder, you've actually got a PHP file here called index.php. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this file, go into the test project folder and then paste in. So I'm going to rename this file. I'm going to call it home instead of index. So open up the file in a code or text editor. I'll just use notepad. I'm going to change this PHP code that was copied over into my own PHP code. So I'm going to do a simple um, echo statement, printing out hello world. Save the file and close notepad. So what you want to do is copy the folder name. So I'm going to hold down the control button and then press the C button to copy the folder name. Back on the browser with the dashboard. Replace dashboard with that folder name. And hit the enter key. Hold down the control button and then press the V to paste. And then hit the enter key. And you can see the contents of that folder and you can see the PHP file. So if I click that PHP file and you'll see that PHP file is loaded up. Hope this video has been helpful to you. Leave a comment below if you have any queries or any issues and thanks for watching.